Hello, this is Intromp Simu Apps. Today we're going to look at making a basic calculator in Swift using Xcode 6. So to start off, we've just created a blank single view application here. It's going to name it Basic Calculator. Okay, next. And then go create. Now, once that's set up, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the storyboard. Just set up our buttons and interface for the calculator. So just down in the bottom right, just drag a button over, and we're gonna add the numbers calculation ones. So do seven, copy that, and we'll do eight. And copy that over to nine. So just keep on repeating this process until you eventually see what I have here. And then we'll move on with the tutorial. Okay, so eventually you should have added the buttons to look like this layout. The numbers here, clear button up here and the operations down the side. So we're just going to drag our box around the operation and over in the button attributes we're just going to change a few settings we're just going to change the text color to black and also if you scroll down you'll see a background i'm just going to change the background color so they stand out a bit more so we're just going to set ours to orange so they just stand out a bit more from everything else so just make sure you've got a button for every operation in here okay now that we've set that up we also need a label just to show our calculation results sorry a text field which is going to show our calculation results at the top let's set that up now we've set up our interface we just need to do the code for the calculator now so to do that up here just hit the assistant editor go back over to our interface now we've wanted numbers hold down the control key we're going to use zero drag it into here i'm going to name it button number input and make that an action events touch up the side and the type will be ui button and go connect okay now that we've set that up we're going to connect every button to that same action so if you just drag it into here sorry um if you just drag it from here up into the view controller you can see the this event here button number input do that for each button we made, each number button. So just we'll repeat the process. So two, three, and do that all the way up to number nine. So basically, um, what's going to happen? All these buttons are going to run that exact same code, which is number input. And you might be wondering how we're going to tell what button's being pressed. Well. We'll get to that later to make it so we can tell what number is actually being pressed down, even though it's running that same bit of code. So number eight. And number nine. Okay. Now that we've done that, the second thing we need to do, we need to do the operations up here. So to do that, we do the same thing almost from the equal sign hold down the control key drag it into our code for view controller here then i name it button operation of an action type ui button and connect that up and what we're going to do just like before for the other operations we're going to hold down the control key drag them up to the view controller here and select button operation so all the operations will run this button operation function bit of code. So do that, put a minus, multiply, and divide. Okay, so one more button we need to do is clear. So drag that over into our code, because that's going to be separate. Also, so do button clear, and make that connection and action. Of UI button again. One more thing we need to drag over from here is this text field up here. 
hold down the control key, drag it over into here, and I'm going to name this label results. Connect that up. All right, now that's all connected up, we'll close down this. We'll head over to our view controller and we'll add in our code. So we're going to need a few variables to store the current number and what operation is being done. So the first one is var result equals float. Second one is var current number equals float, which is the current number being put in by the person. The last one is var current op equals string, which is the current operation that's being run. So multiplied equals divide, etc. So make sure that you do this correct because it is case sensitive. So you just saw um, a little f, it will just see an error come up. So make sure it's all correct. Okay, so the first one we want to do is when a number input. So to get what number is being inputted, so we do current number equals current number times 10 plus Float sender dot title label exclamation mark dot text exclamation mark dot two int exclamation mark and close that off. So basically the bit where it gets the actual number is in here. So the sender dot title label dot text will be the number, so whether it's a one, a number nine, etc. It converts that to an integer which is then converted into a float because unfortunately with Swift you can't convert it directly into a float so that's why we need to take this intermediate step of making an integer and basically this current number times 10 if you keep on pressing numbers it will go from if you press 1 to us it will go 1 then 11 so make sure you keep on pressing them for a bigger number so the next thing we need to do is label results dot text that equals brackets slash sorry brackets slash brackets current number and that's just going to set that label to have the current number we press down so the next thing we need to do is operation so to do this we're going to do a switch current op so depending on what the current operation is, it's going to do different things. So do case, it's equals, colon, results equals current number, case, it's a plus, we're going to add it. So results equals results plus current number. And we just want to repeat this. For each type we can do so just copy that in there so case minus case times case divide do case minus multiply and divide and one more we need to do when doing a switch chain we need to do a default case in case for some reason none of these things came through or just a print line error which that should never occur because We've only got those buttons can only possibly be pressed. I'll just indent that so it looks all nice and neat. Okay, and then under that we're going to do current number equals zero. Label result dot text. It's going to set it to the current result. So brackets slash it's results. We do also here sender dot title label exclamation mark dot text equal to the equal sign and I do results equal zero and then do current 
op equals sender dot title label exclamation mark dot text as string. Okay, and then now back up here in the studio load, we're just going to add a few things. So do current operation by default is equal to the equal sign. And we'll do label result dot text is equal to brackets results. Also got to do the button clear and we're getting an error here, so let's just take a look at what's going on. Down cast on string. Okay, I just remember I've got to put an exclamation mark after text and also string and then you clear that error up. So the last button we've got to do is a clear button. So to do that, go result is equal to zero. Current number is equal to zero. Basically, this is just resetting everything to a blank, blank state. So current op, current op is equal to the equals label result dot text into brackets slash results. So we'll just save that and run it should see our calculator in action, so we'll test that out. Okay, so do one plus one equals two, clear that. Do 11 times 11 is equal to 121. So you can download the source code for this project below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.